actually, why did I took the spot of uh, Manuel uh, uh, in this moment? Well, let me uh, present myself uh, to try to explain why. So, uh, as some of you may know, and uh, it may be a shocker for, uh, for others, uh, I'm not a PhD student anymore here. I'm an uh, actual um, uh, permanent uh, professor here. Uh, and uh, I developed my career uh, entirely at uh, this university. And everything started in uh, 2013 when I started my PhD uh, here at uh, Cargo Cercero uh, inside of the department, what was uh, still the, the bioengineering and aerospace engineering uh, department uh, at the time, uh, pursuing my PhD in the fluid mechanics. Uh, I actually graduated a few years ago, uh, 2017, looks like ages uh, now, uh, but well, I'm what is uh, the uh, I'm part of what is the first batch of PhD student who graduated from this department um, in uh, in uh, in uh, in these years. Uh, actually, uh, we are 31 students who already graduated from uh, from uh, this department. Uh, I did the math, uh, so I know most of them. Uh, and uh, we actually graduated uh, in, uh, in this one in these uh, seven years. Uh, you can see that the first batch was quite a big one. Okay, we graduated in six, seven between uh, 2017 and 2018. And uh, the big problem with uh, this uh, group of students is the composition. So back in the days in 2017, the aerospace engineering PhD program was not anymore uh, already existing. And uh, most of us graduated in different programs. So you can see that a big uh, part of the students graduated from the fluid mechanics PhD program, uh, a smaller batch from uh, the plasma and nuclear physics one. Uh, and then only in uh, 2022, we started having the first graduates from the aerospace engineering program uh, as Manuel already said to you. Uh, so what's about the PhD student who graduated in, uh, in, uh, in this year? Where are they? Uh, well, I did a bit of an exercise to check in where they are. And I came out with this map, okay? This nice map, you can see that we have several PhD students scattered around uh, Europe and the US. Uh, indeed, there is a strong presence of PhD students still in, uh, in Madrid. More or less uh, half of them are still in Madrid. Uh, the other half scattered around uh, US and, uh, and Europe. You can see that uh, we have uh, people in Italy, between Milan, Rome and Naples, in uh, France, in Toulouse, uh, in Germany, Darmstadt and, uh, and um, Hamburg, and also people in Vienna. Uh, while people in the U.S., well, uh, Manuel already presented some of the of the people uh, who are in uh, MIT and uh, in uh, Princeton. Uh, we have also people in the uh, University in uh, Seattle. Uh, so this uh, huge already network of people scattered around uh, the world, and uh, we feel like we a bit lose connection between us. Uh, because of the distance indeed, and because each one took a bit of uh, his career path. Uh, well, in terms of what is uh, what we started doing? Well, doing a bit of uh, the opposite exercise in uh, checking what we ended up doing. Uh, well, almost half of us decided to pursue our research career. So some of them uh, well, some of us actually are uh, at universities uh, and uh, in research centers, okay? So as uh, Manuel uh, was saying before, people at INTA, ENEA, CIRA, ONERA uh, are uh, still uh, between uh, these, uh, these uh, research, uh, are still in this research environment. And uh, another half moved to industry. So either in, uh, assess companies or in uh, startups, either funded by them or 
just as uh, people uh, joining them. So there is a quite a variety here of uh, uh, outcomes for, uh, for uh, these people. And we feel that this is an added value of uh, this uh, network. Uh, so we want to try to maintain contact between us. And uh, this is the main idea behind uh, the alumni network that we are setting up. Uh, so this network will serve for connecting the old PhD students like me, so graduated back in uh, 2017, so as I said, ages ago, and the newcomers. So for example, uh, Ivan, who graduated in, uh, Ivan and, uh, and I, uh, Guillermo graduated in uh, basically this year. Uh, and there is a large gap in time between us. So we want to try to maintain this connection and to share a bit uh, the, um, our experience. Uh, and uh, the idea is that this network, which will be the alumni uh, network for the uh, Department of Aerospace Engineering of uh, UC3M, will uh, include all the PhD students which are going to graduate in the future in the Department of uh, Aerospace Engineering here at UC3M. So which are the objectives uh, of this network? Well, the objectives are pretty simple. Uh, we want to maintain connection between uh, the different alumni uh, and uh, we want to offer an overview of which are the achievements of, uh, of uh, the alumni as a whole. So where uh, did we end up, uh, how our careers are developing to be inspirational also for new PhD students for people who's going to graduate uh, soon. Uh, also, the, another objective of this network is to share opportunities which may be valuable both for the people in, uh, already in the, in the alumni network, both for people who are, uh, let's say, uh, in the network, uh, outside of the network and may find some uh, opportunities shared by the people in the network. So uh, as uh, Manuel already shown you, uh, some of uh, the members of this alumni network already have uh, uh, pretty strong positions and may offer opportunities to uh, new PhD students or also to uh, graduate students. Uh, so this comes also as a source of uh, uh, connection between uh, the PhD students which are, array, uh, which are now studying, which are now pursuing their PhD, and the PhD students of the past, which already have uh, their career path well developed. So who's helping me in setting up this network? Well, here we have uh, the board of this alumni network. Uh, you can see here, Sara Gorriero, who graduated in uh, uh, 2020 in, uh, essentially um, uh, plasma propulsion, uh, who's a co-founder and a chief operating officer at uh, United Space, which uh, Manuel already said is a, a startup which is born from uh, some of our alumni. Then we have uh, David Morante, who graduated again in 2020 in uh, uh, essentially space transportation. Uh, who's now head of interplanetary mission analysis at uh, Deimos. And finally, we have uh, Gonzalo Ranz, graduated in uh, 2021 in uh, computational fluid dynamics, uh, which is the, let's say, the American branch of, uh, of the board, and uh, who's now pursuing his, uh, uh, is working as a postdoctoral researcher at uh, MIT, working on turbulence. So alongside with these people, we are trying to set up the network and uh, which are the platform in which we are going to be present. Well, mostly uh, the idea is that uh, the network will uh, be based on uh, this um, LinkedIn group, which is called ADA U3M. You can use uh, the QR code to access it. Uh, in this page, the idea is that we will share all uh, possible informations uh, which may be of interest both for the people in the already in the network, both for the people outside of it who are looking for um, pretty much opportunities 
or are looking for connection with past PhD students. Uh, indeed, this is not the only thing that, uh, that we are going to have. The idea is to also have an alumni page inside of the department webpage in order to uh, share contacts and share where each one of the alumni is now essentially active. And uh, finally, uh, the plan is to organize uh, some events in the future to essentially gather the alumni, especially the ones which are still in Madrid, but also the ones which are going to go abroad uh, in, uh, in the future. Uh, so I will uh, like to leave you with this uh, picture. Um, so stay tuned. Uh, we are going to do more on this, so let's wait for some news on this. <laughs>